Welcome to Richwood. A town that was almost wiped off the map a few years ago with a flood. Love traveling through this area. Then you're on through Richwood. I saw this mural and if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love my murals. And this is pretty cool. It gives you all the nearby scenic spots. Well, maybe not all, but quite a few of them. Beautiful library and the Richwood City Hall. See the starting point sign, but right behind it, another mural. I would love to have this patience or, and or artistic ability. Normally when I'm walking through the town, giving you some of the ideas of how I think it's doing, you know, mention some, how many businesses there are, except, you know, you've, been, you've seen some of the videos. However, in this case, as I look at the Cornerstone Family Pharmacy, I'm looking at how well it's recovered. 2016 was when the flood hit, and it was, this community was completely devastated. So I've been anxious to actually walk through the town, just to see. Here's one for sale by owner. If you're interested, there's the number. It's like an antique store. Paul's Barbershop sign, that's cool. And there are some empty buildings. Not going to hide that. But in many of the towns I go through, there's empty buildings. This one has an excuse for it. I'm hoping and praying that this continues to pick up. I've seen some very interesting shops that I drove through. Wonderful old building. I don't know what it's, it's for at one point, but these cars have not been touched for a while. Post office of State Bell Mailing a Letter, make sure you put the zip code 26261. We all need hope. Thank you. If anyone watching this video from around this area, love to know what this once was. It's like a pretty cool building, but I have no idea. Maybe when I go across the street, I'll be able to tell. Wonderful store. If you're down here, make sure you check this out. They also have an escape room in there. At some point, I think I'm going to come down and try it. Don't know my Richwood history as well. Actually, don't know it well at all, but it's a challenge. So, got soft in there. Fantastic. Very, very friendly. Make sure you stop in here and take a look at what they have. That might be one of the coolest things I've ever saw in front of a diner. Hair to die for. Which reminds me, I do need a haircut. So I'll sign up to open a hardware store, Country Hardware, and this is your typical Country Hardware. Actually, not your typical Country Hardware. Naturally, it looks like I probably missed the time going in. Yeah, sign's not on. But it looks like it would be a very cool store to explore. Love the old buildings. 
not sure if this is an old hotel, but I'm guessing it is. Again, those of you that know a little bit more about the history of this place than I do, please comment, let me know. If you're getting some of these things wrong, I do apologize. And let's just step back up. Welcome to Richwood again. Oak Fort. Moments like this that kind of glad my plans from earlier changed. Really enjoying walking around here. Old Depot put to good use the Welcome Center information for Richwood. If you're coming down to this area, stop in here and take a look so you can find out what all there is to do right here. Because I, I know I'm missing a lot of it in this overview. Definitely we'll be coming back here sometime in the near future. Well, speaking of some things, if you don't get here in time, it's got a list of a few of the things here to do as the sign walks up. I think this is a place that I'll check back to check out when I come back here. Cool colors for the fire hydrant. Love it. Some recommendations down here. Found out in the 1930s at one point, this town had around 8,000 people. 2023, depending on how you want to look at it, somewhere between 1,800 to 2,200 people. Love the Easter decorations. We see some information about this store at one point. It was a high end clothing store. Kind of similar to uh, JC Penney's back when towns actually had these type of clothing stores. Welcome. Now that's cool. Another antique store. Studio with very cool stuff in there. And oh, it's a, uh, yeah, really cool. Another business. Another studio. Let's take a look. Pretty good place if you love art. Excellent place to go. And on October 14th, the 
have adjured art walk, food trucks, other things coming in. Sounds like a great time. Heritage Center, excellent place. If you want to know the history of Richwood, see some of the, the past, or the saw in there. By the way, those are not like decals, those are painted on there, which is pretty cool. Make sure you stop here. Been in this town numerous times and never noticed any of these murals till today. Love it. Another antique store, and this side got, sign got me. Together we will see it through. That is the heart of Ridgewood. They have worked very hard since the flood to get this town back on its feet. And I can, and I can see it. I can hear it in the hearts of the people. And I love the fact of what they're doing. And they were telling me some of the improvements they're talking about making. And I look forward to coming back and doing another video here in the future. Look forward to trying to get to some of the festivals here. Another one. Welcome to Richwood. Again, what a wonderful little thing here. Love it. As I leave Richwood, I'm anxious to come back. They're doing, they're doing well. They're trying to get things in here, but they, they're recovering. And I, I'm very happy that I happen to be here today just to see this. So thank you for coming along. And if you're happy to be in this area, stop by. Thank you to everybody in town who took time out to talk to me. It made it worthwhile. Wonderful people here. So again, come to Richwood, soft, spend a, I spent a couple hours here, had a great time. Thank you again for coming along on this
this small town series.